Hey guys, it's me Amber. Today I'm going to do some product reviews for you. I'm going to compare two products. Um, one is a more high-end from Sephora and the other one is a drugstore. So the first product I'm going to review, I've actually done this in favorites. I've liked this um, product. I've used it quite a few times. It's a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and this is in the color Nude. And this is a little darker than I am right now. This is more of my summer color. But I've really liked this. It's been a great for lightweight coverage in the summertime or when you just don't feel like putting on a whole bunch of foundation. Um, I recently saw advertisements for the CoverGirl Nature Lux and um, I was kind of intrigued by it because it was liquid silk foundation and they were like, it's lightest ever, you won't feel a thing. And so I was kind of like, how is this going to compare to the Laura Mercier? Um, first off, just looking at the package and everything, this one's like, about $40. I'm not sure exactly how much I paid for it. And this has 1.7 ounces and has SPF 20 in it. This one is only one ounce, so it is a lot smaller, almost half the size. And it only has SPF 10. But they're both supposed to be kind of lightweight, barely there coverage. Well, barely there feel with a little bit more coverage, and you're supposed to be able to layer them both. So today I have tried them and I've been using this foundation for a while and I've been liking it but I wanted to just compare them straight across and see what I thought half and half. Um, so I actually put the CoverGirl on this side of my face and the Laura Mercier on this side of my face and they both have a very creamy consistency. I'll actually show you on my hand here. They both go on really really soft when it says it has a silky lightweight finish on the CoverGirl it really does. So here, just on my hand, if you can see, I've got that one. You can tell that one's a little darker color. I mean, that kind of blends in smooth and really nice. Oh, I'm totally out of the picture. Okay, so there's the Laura Mercier. You can see it blends in smooth and nice. This top one is the Cover Girl, and it's the same. I mean, it blends in. You can tell that one's a lighter shade, but they're both like kind of silky. They blend in really nice. Neither one of them are going to be products that... Um, if you have a second to blend them, you know, you're going to get a really good coverage. But if you if you set them on there for a second and you're blending the rest of your face, it's not like they're just going to dry and cake right on your face right in that spot. So I like both the feelings of it. Um, immediately I noticed that this one goes on silky, like really silky, like surprisingly, but it dries to a powdery finish, like almost immediately. So you never kind of get that moisturizer feel like this one. So with the Laura Mercier, like when you put it on, it feels like you're putting on a moisturizer. You can feel kind of that moisturizer, sunscreeny feel to it, and it doesn't really go away. Like I would say that moisturizer feeling stays for maybe half an hour or so. So it definitely stays there, but I would definitely say that this has more of a powder finish, and this one still kind of gives me a little bit of shine. So if you tend to be oilier, you might not prefer this one. Um, I have dry skin, but I still felt like this was okay. Like I didn't feel like it dried out my skin because it went on really silky, but it dried powdery. So I really liked this one actually. Um, now, one thing I did notice was they have similar coverage as far as like, I mean, I have quite a few blemishes and stuff right now, but I felt like the coverage was pretty even. I mean, I get quite through right through here and I felt like they were pretty comparable. I mean, this one, because it has a little bit more shine, I think it tends to not feel like it has as much coverage, but it does give good coverage. It's just the finish is a little different. But overall, I think coverage was the same. The wear, wear was about the same too. These, neither one of these are gonna wear as good as you know your foundation and your powder and your primer and you know the whole thing. So if I really want to have a long lasting foundation, this isn't gonna be 18 hour. I mean, it's neither one of these. They're going to be, you know, five or six hours and you're going to want to touch up. Um, now, I didn't put anything else on. I didn't put powder, concealer, anything. So this is just the product themselves. Now, one thing I did notice is, um, although I have been using this a lot, when I use this next to this one, this one seemed to not settle in my pores as much as this did, actually. So when I was looking at it, I felt like this side of my face, my pores were a lot more noticeable than this side, which I have large pores, so that's something I want to be concerned about. So overall, like I gave this a thumbs up. I really, really like it. Um, it's cheap. It was like 
forgot to mention that before. It was like $10 or less than $10. I think it was nine something. Another plus for this that I forgot to mention is that I actually purchased this at a grocery store and they had a little tester bar. So they had all the colors there and then about half of them they had testers. So I didn't actually get to try this exact shade, but I tested the one before it and the one after it and I could tell that I was right in between. So I thought that was really great because that's one advantage with going to some place like department store, Sephora, Ulta, is you can actually try the product. So I think a lot more drugstore brands are gonna come out with testers because I think they know that, you know, by, by giving away that little bit of product, they're gonna get so much more because people are gonna match their colors and they're gonna wanna go for it. Um, the only weird thing about this, and I've heard other people say this before, is that the names are just kind of random as far as CoverGirl shades. They don't really go across with any other CoverGirl makeup. Mine is 310 Flax, which I mean they're going for natural because it has the cucumber water and you know it's supposed to be more of a nature product. So I understand why they picked that those names, but I mean Flax, it's like I'm the color Flax, you know. Where this, I'm the color Nude and that seems, I don't know, a little more appropriate, but uh, I mean would I say the Laura Mercier is worse product? Definitely not. This is a great product. I love this. I used it all summer. But I would just say the finish is going to be a little bit different. But if you're looking for a more affordable choice, like honestly, for a drugstore, this was really good. You know, I was hesitant. You know, it's like, oh, this will beat your $150 foundation, it says. And like, honestly, it's really good. Like, I found myself picking this, my, I found myself picking this up more than I thought I would, even more than my regular, like, foundation routine, because it's quick, it's easy, and it dries to a powder finish, where, um, this one, you know, it does give it more of a moisturized look than the other. I don't know how this um, stands up under heat though because it's not summer. So, I mean, I don't know if you live in a hot climate already, if it's gonna sweat off your face. Um, I possibly could do another review if anyone was interested in the summertime and tell you how it wears. But so far, I'm liking this for the price difference. I mean, yes, you get less than half or a little bit more than half, but uh, I mean, for the price, $40 versus 10. I definitely think this is a good choice and I would recommend it and I hope that's helpful to you and I'll see you later. Bye!